proper. I know you like these walking long films with the wind rushing about. <laughs> well, there's a lot of lot of stuff out here, a lot of flakes and f flake blocks and Like nice. But these these sort of things I really I don't pick up. I don't there's just there's just so much here. Little round scraper. Some sort of it's everywhere. It's everywhere. But I just think it's such a shame to take everything because if I take everything, there's not going to be much left for my kids or their kids. And what's the point of taking home something you don't really need if it's only some sort of owl slay or whatever you call it, off lake? What, what's, what's the point of taking it and just putting it in a cupboard. It's a bit like going fishing and taking even the small fish that you can't eat. So there's just so much here. Everywhere. <laughs> and I think that's how it should be as well. Not not everything just sort of collected. Oh well, that's my theory. <laughs> so, so, now I've come to some fields I've never looked at before. I usually in the other woman's fields but she said maybe I should try these fields because I definitely need a stone with the wow factor today so anyhow now we've walked about a mile Gustav and I and then suddenly something popped up <laughs> Mr Gustav strikes again difficult to see. Yeah. Some sort of scarf paper, I guess. Alright, I'll get back. No. <clears throat> <laughs> if I can just move Gustav. Yeah. He likes to find these stones, doesn't he? This is it's very windy. See, this is some sort of ads. It's fine actually. The whole, f the whole field is covered in flakes and flake tools and block scrapers, bores. And... But I, like I say, I don't bring everything on. Most of it stays for the seventh generation. But this, this I'll take. This is, oh, I'll show you this in the wash up. All right. Mm, this might be a nice round scraper. Yeah. Oh yeah, that'll do. I'll send that to. I'll send that to Rockhead, I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. There's one for your pack. So, two seconds later, and. Thumb scraper. <laughs> so no one, no one needs a bore for him. 
Well, I was going to go in this field I call the field of broken axes because all I ever find there is broken axes. But uh, as you can see now, cultivators in so. <laughs> I was right over the back there, right over there. Some sort of rough blade. Oops. All work right around there. So now, now on, I've cleaned them up a little bit. This is scrapers. Quite rough scrapers. Little thumb scraper. Sort of ball. <laughs> Is another kind of bore they use this this part here clean it up probably it was a flake block that started to go twisted so they cleaned off that and then they utilized that piece these are interesting these these flake tools with these offset parts they were some sort of small knife This is probably, I don't know whether it's a preform or we don't use many preforms here. Usually if it looked like something they used it. So it was some sort of I don't know, shafted tool. Sort of. <laughs> a couple of our arrowheads. See they didn't really do much work on them. I think it was times were quite hard and they needed time to hunt. So they weren't going to sit down and use hours and hours to put fancy pressure flaking on. If it... <laughs> These usual sort of arrowheads we find here. Another sort of little hand tool. This lovely flint is beautiful flint. Yeah, so. uh, this 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 was the prize find of the day this it looks a bit rough but I really think this is probably the oldest thing I've ever found it just feels like it it's funny it's, it was never it's not an axe and and at this time they didn't really they weren't farming so so I guess it must have been some digging tool after roots but it's it's polished with time it's really <laughs> I really it's funny I like it I mean it's old but it's not very pretty but yeah all right then well that was that sort of little hunt <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching